Hey folks, welcome to the second in a small series of videos visiting some landmarks here in Richmond, Virginia. And today we are visiting some museums, and behind us is the Science Museum of Virginia. Natalie is joining me again. Hi. The Science Museum of Virginia was proposed in 1906, but it wasn't until 1976 that it found its home in the former Broad Street train station building. Among its attractions, in front of it sits the world's largest... What is this supposed to be? Google. This being a former train station from 1917, it has all the grandiose style they had back then. Although this ceiling totally needs some decoration, some frescoes or something, it's too plain. And here's a Foucault pendulum. It's a thing that shows that the Earth rotates on its axis. It's very neat. So depending on the time of the day, it knocks over a little thing. It's a, it's a very convoluted clock. <laughs> we were considering going inside, but there was an admission fee and there was a line. So we went back to watching the pendulum. They do have good exhibits, but we weren't feeling very scientific that day, so we went to the gift shop. These remind me of the suit sprites on uh, that movie Spirited Away. Yes. I guess they have their own brand of coffee. There you go, who needs Wikipedia? There's the history of the building on the back of the coffee pack. With our shopping done, we attempted to leave the Science Museum. Come on dude, I can't back up for you to park if you don't get out of my way. Uh, there's an immense truck behind me. And the sticker says Virginia's for blood donors and right underneath it, mosquito control. That's confusing. It is. It's sort of bare left. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. I want the, the, the GPS to say that. Sort of turn left now. There is a museum of architecture or something. Oh, that's a really wonderful building. Maybe we should go there. Since we're here. The museum in question was the Branch Museum of Architecture and Design, just a short drive from the Science Museum. The Studer-style manor was the winter home of John Kerr Branch, a rich guy from the early 1900s. It was designed by the firm of John Russell Pope, and it was finished in 1919.
the other museums here. Okay. Ah, uh, they primarily lived in New York and Philly. All right. This is just their party house. I want a party house like that. I think I could have a smaller version of it and be completely content. Yeah. <laughs> Longing for at least a modest party house, we moved on to our next destination. And right away I noticed something new. They moved the dying horse statue. That's what I call it. He's so scrawny. Yeah, he's dying. The statue in question is a monument to the horses and mules that perished during the American Civil War. And behind us is the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts. The Vumpha, like I affectionately call it. Vumpha? Vumpha. The Virginia Museum of Fine Arts opened in 1936 and is one of the largest art museums in the United States. A, a tour bus just pulled over and is making a lot of noise, but we're going to try this anyway. So that's their newest statue, the Rumors of War. Kehinde Wiley. Oh, I can't say it. Kehinde Wiley. I guess that's better than I would do, so... Is he wearing Nikes? Yes, he's wearing Nikes. I do have a degree in art, so I suppose I should say something artsy about the statue. I'll get back to you on that. This new statue is a big deal, but they have loads of other statues in their sculpture garden, like Poseidon here, and this head thing. And uh, whatever this is. Inside, it's a museum with many different galleries and all sorts of events that they host. We have a Salvador Dali. We actually have a couple of Salvador Dalis. She knows all your secrets. She does. Look at her. And she doesn't care. I like her. They have good old Roman statues and paintings. Lots and lots and lots of paintings. So if you're looking for paintings, you will not be disappointed. They also have one of the largest collections of Fabergé things, like the famous eggs. and all sorts of other luxurious knickknacks. Their silver collection is breathtaking. They have modern art too, but I don't like modern art, so we went the other way. To the Art Nouveau collection, because I love Art Nouveau. They have a huge collection of Tiffany glass.
And also, they have one of the largest collection of Tiffany lamps here. I have a soft spot for the Tiffany lamps because I used to make them. Now back to the really ancient stuff. They do have legitimate Egyptian artifacts, of course. They have a huge collection of Greek vases. There is a coffee shop and a proper restaurant in the museum and uh, while the food is delicious, it's a little on the pricey side. Alright, I came up with something artsy to say about it. So, he's riding forward while keeping a watchful eye in the past. So, this concludes our visit to the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts. Um, it was surprisingly busy, but I really love the museum. It's so big, it takes more than a day to just see everything in there. We just skimmed over the surface. And I guess we'll see you next time on the next video.
and we're gonna get out of the cold now. <laughs> so if you have any comments and suggestions, please leave them below. And thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.